Hello. Now in this lesson, we want to turn your attention to this blank here, this uh, rectangular region right here. This is called the formula bar in Excel, and it's something that you're going to use all the time. So we need to have a little bit of a discussion about it. Basically, the formula bar uh, reflects what is in the cell that you've highlighted. So if I go and click sales here, now you notice I've got an orange background and white text, so it's kind of a formatted, pretty looking cell. The formula bar tells me the value of the, the text that's in there, so it says sales. Right? If I click on January, I can see January. If I click on February, and I see February. So when you look in the formula bar up here, it doesn't show you the formatting. It doesn't care about highlighting or italics or bold. It's just the value of what's in the cell. Now if I click on the number, uh, notice I have a lot of formatting here. I have a dollar sign. I have 5,206.00, so I've got a nicely formatted um, currency figure. But in the formula bar, it's just a number, 5,206. So you can kind of think of the formula bar as sort of like the raw deal. It's what is in the cell, but it's really with no bells and whistles. It's either a number or it's text, right? And that's what's up there. So if I go and click, you know, 1.234, uh, then 1. Uh, or 1.254, that's what's going to be up there. Uh, so it, it, it'll, it'll put decimals up there. It'll put numbers up there, and it'll put text up there. You know, I can put my name.